Welcome back everyone. I'll go ahead and show you exactly how to fix your iPhone if it keeps disconnecting from Wi-Fi. Now this can happen for a couple of different reasons, but I'll go ahead and show you two main reasons and how to fix it. The first way is like a combination of like 40 different things, but I'm just going to go ahead and break it down into one segment of the video. Then the second segment of the video is a little bit different, but this is pretty much the first way on how to fix your Wi-Fi not working or it just keeps disconnecting from your iPhone. So first thing you wanna do is first of all, swipe down from the control center and you want to locate this toggle. So hold down on it right here and you want to make sure you are not on airplane mode. As long as you're not on airplane mode, then you already know you're probably connected to the internet in some way. And then you want to make sure your Wi-Fi toggle doesn't look like this. If it's white like this, then this will basically mean that you're not going to be connected to any Wi-Fi. Things like AirDrop and, you know, your AirPods and stuff will still be able to work and function, whether you have, you know, as long as you have Bluetooth on. But as long as it looks like this, you're not going to be able to connect to the internet, including Wi-Fi. So you want to make sure this is enabled. There's been time and time again that I've seen that people actually, you know, will just quickly, like, use their phone and they'll click some random things by accident. Maybe they hold it like this, and their Wi-Fi will randomly just turn off like this. So you want to go ahead and make sure it doesn't look like this. You want to make sure it looks like this. Now, the next thing I'll show you in this specific segment is to pretty much go ahead, go into your settings. You want to go, you know, once you're in the settings like this, you want to go into your Wi-Fi settings right here, and you want to make sure the Wi-Fi connection that you're, you know, connected to is actually a stable connection. If you're connected to a very, very, you know, unstable connection, then you're not going to be able to get a strong Wi-Fi connection. So you want to go ahead, make sure you're connected to a very strong network, and then from there, I would even recommend you to actually reset your router. That will probably end up fixing the issue in and of itself, and it may not even be your phone that's the issue. It may be the router itself that's the issue. So... Typically, those things are the main ways to go about fixing it straight from, you know, without having to do anything super crazy, just straight from your phone or the router itself. Now, the second method is kind of taking it to the next step. Me, personally, I have had an iPhone that had, a, you know, a pretty bad Wi-Fi connection problem. It was an iPhone 8 Plus, and it just wouldn't connect to Wi-Fi, you know, connections properly. And at one point, it was totally not working on Wi-Fi. I can only update it through using a computer. And the very first thing I tell you here is if you really want to fix it is to first of all restart your phone. So you want to go ahead and hold up the volume up button and the power button at the same time. As you can see, once you get into this panel, you want to go ahead and swipe the power off. Then you essentially want to go ahead and boot the phone back on. And what I can tell you is, is that you'll be surprised by how many things you can fix just by restarting your phone itself. So that's probably the very first thing I would recommend doing in this second segment is to probably restart your phone. But I'll tell you this, the thing that helped me out the most and probably the number one way I went ahead and actually fixed my Wi-Fi connection problems on my iPhone was to actually update my iPhone to the latest version of software. And you might be wondering to yourself, you know, how do I go and update my software if I can't even connect to the internet or connect to Wi-Fi? Well, you can still update your phone from your computer, whether you have a Windows, Mac, whatever the case is. As long as you have iTunes or the Files app on Mac OS, you know, Catalina or higher, you'll actually be able to go ahead and update your phone. So what you wanna do is first of all, see if you even have an update downloader. So go into your settings, you wanna click on general, you wanna click on software update. And if there is a software update right here and it says install now, I would probably recommend clicking install now and updating, you know, plug in your phone and pretty much go from there. If you do not see an update here or if it's saying you're not connected to the internet, well, in that case, you want to go ahead and plug your phone into your computer and you want to go into iTunes, the files up, whatever, and update your phone from there. What I can tell you is surprisingly, when I updated my iPhone that had, you know, Wi-Fi connection problems from iOS 13 to 14, that ended up fixing my Wi-Fi issues. And I was super surprised about it. I didn't think that was actually going to happen, but that actually did end up happening. So that's probably the number one thing I would tell you here is if you go ahead and update your phone, whether your Wi-Fi connections are just, you know, not connecting properly or if they're disconnecting all the time or if they're not connecting at all, updating your phone can actually probably end up fixing this issue as long as it's not a hardware problem. Now, let's say none of these things have fixed it, then at the end of the day, it may actually be a hardware problem and you may have to go get it fixed from Apple. So that's really pretty much it. If you guys have any other questions or anything like that, let me know in the comment section below. Hit the like button, that means so much, but definitely hit that subscribe button. Every single subscriber that we get really does count. So it means so much if you guys can hit that. Also check out the other links down in the description as well. My Twitter, my Instagram, my other channels. More importantly, everything else, I love every single one of you guys. Hopefully I'll catch you guys in the next video. Peace out till then.